Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Castlevania Lords of Shadow. So, last time I had a computer problem that ended up crashing... Look, suffice it to say, I had a computer issue. I explained it in the description of that last video. But then, why didn't I come back and record immediately afterwards? Well, in addition to having to fix this computer problem... In addition to having to fix this computer problem, I also had to... Uh, sorry, I've just noticed. In addition to having to fix this computer problem, I also had to... Yeah, there we go. I've been having webcam problems too, so that's fun. In addition to this, uh, other problem, I also needed to fix... some other stuff. And then I also had to go on... I mean, I say I had to, but I didn't have to. But... I went on vacation. And while away... I got COVID. I'm fine now, but it's been a month since I recorded. So, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been... So I, I've missed, like, I think two uploads of Castlevania Lords of Shadow, and I'm sorry about that. Um, cause I would really like to have beaten this game in October, the, the month of Spooky. Uh, but I didn't. And couldn't, in fact, because of all the other stuff that was going on. Also, this area sucks. Like, it initially looked really cool. But it's very annoying. So, I have cracked, and I have turned the difficulty down to easy. Because I kind of can't be bothered. Like, the last the last fight where they just dump three of the uh, briefcase guys on you. The guys who run around in briefcases. Yep, webcam's frozen again. God. It wasn't doing this bad last time. I even wasn't recording and I checked. Oh, for God's sakes. What, there's no invisible wall here? I just can't get out? For the love of God. Shh. Patrick, I swear to God. Patrick Stewart has gotten on my nerves so many times now. Especially because, like, I've had to see so many more... By the way, the checkpoints for this are crazy. Because they put you back to where you got the keystone, not where you put it in. Which means that you have to run back over here, put this keystone back in, and then watch or skip this cutscene again. There's the webcam again. I'm just going to turn it off. You have to watch or skip the cutscene again, and then you have to run to where you're actually supposed to be. Now? Alright. But yeah, I just... I couldn't be asked. Like, I don't want to hear Patrick Stewart over and over again. I don't want to, like... This this game has kind of started to lose its goodwill for me. Because, like, look, I, I love Castlevania. As a franchise, I love it. As a concept, I love it. But, like... It's not canon to the original Castlevania. Ugh. Okay, there's a little lip there, at least. But yeah, so, like, I just... <sighs> I feel like I almost can't be bothered and like that's a shame because I was really enjoying this game but like it's kind of driven out all my goodwill just because it made so many like weird decisions like I think about early on when I wasn't when I was like really starting to not enjoy it oh I don't even get to land great I was thinking about early on when I really was starting to not enjoy this game Uh, 
powerful necromancer with like the um this one sacred ground to build oh my God. The dead. Patrick I really I can't bring myself to give a shit I don't need to know about this area what if every time you walked into a new zone in Symphony of the Night somebody was like by the way this was used by and also they spent a billion dollars to get him in I don't care about the money it's almost a flex I can't care but one path must end here why I grow tired of your riddles. Speak clearly for once. Nothing is ever completely clear, warrior. You are shrouded in darkness. You act as though blind to the truth. Let me enlighten you. Mm-hmm. One thing that I do say, I do intend to make, like, LPs that you can just kind of put on in the background. Or have on your second monitor. Assuming you got a second monitor. Oh, well, that makes it make sense. By the way, I was a Gundam the whole time. I'm gonna need to go play Symphony of the Night again. This Silver Warrior, big high. Pan, once revered as a god, rarely changes to this form, preferring peace and protect all living things. The silver armor is a remnant of ancient times, tool used for fighting the forces of evil that haven't been worn by him for centuries. Out of necessity, he adorns this body in, uh, he adorns his body in this away ancient armor to test Gabriel one final time. Pan puts his faith in God, for no knight that is false can survive the test of arms. The loser will provide the ultimate sacrifice according to God's will. Oh yeah, I put together that god mask. Yeah, I, I like making content that is very, like, not bingeable because I don't even want to, like, justify that statement. But I like making content that you can have on in a second monitor and enjoy. I used to watch, look, maybe I'm telling on myself, but, like, I used to watch, like, Two Best Friends Play or uh, Game Grumps, you know, way back in 2012, 2013, 14. In a, uh, in a second monitor or in a... Uh, in another tab while I was writing or drawing. And now that I'm getting back into stuff like building Lego, because I've recently been getting back into Lego, which is cool. Does this dude have a simplified moveset on easy mode? Because that's kind of lame, but also like, eh. The thing is, is that the difficulty of this game is very well balanced, but when I have to sit down and do that difficulty for a specific amount of time, for a specific number of hours a day. Ooh, armbar him. You're going to give me a blessing whether you want it or not. Bible joke. I'm going to use it to heal because that's kind of all I can do here. But yeah, that's that's how I used to use LPs a lot. And so like now I watch LPs and I sometimes watch them a bit more actively depending on who it is, what it is, what they're doing, what they're playing. Um, but often I'll just have it on while I'm doing something else. Like, now I, I use LPs to, uh, to, like, watch stuff, too, you know? Like, I'll be playing a game that has a lot of downtime, like Elden Ring. Because Elden Ring does not have a lot of dialogue. Any Dark Souls does not have a lot of dialogue. And so, like, something like that, or, um, I was doing this with Diablo or, like, Destiny. Anti-air, huh? Oh, he's giving, he's tutorializing me. Yeah, naturally, there's a great deal of downtime in those games. So, um, and I can, you know, play and listen. So that's what I'll do. And I, I like making content like that. Nice. You will need all 
also shadow magic to win. Take it. Are we getting like an elemental rock, paper, scissors here? This is certainly a, a cool fight, I will say. Although, I think it's a little weird that this is like a pan thing. I don't know why he just showed up to do this. I think that's a little silly. But yeah, I will say, for those who are interested in playing this at home, the difficulty of this game is actually really well balanced. And like... No, it's never come up before. I don't fight many things that are light. Oh man, the way he's like swapping them back and forth, that's pretty cool. But the thing is, when I come back like months apart, because I, I, I record with specific schedules. I'm working on it, dude. I record with specific schedules and it's kind of annoying to try and, you know, fit a really difficult game to that. Nani? That's cool. Oh, the bowling pins. Why? Why did you make me fight you? It would be because cool. This is how it must be. We must all make sacrifices in order to find redemption. No, I did not want this. Sorry, now that I've been using a webcam and it's kind of crapping out on me, I'm like... Must be spilt I'm so used to being able to show my handsome face deal. off. I accept my fate. Can you accept yours? Maybe if I moved... Maybe that would work. I am not worthy. I am oh, not I have this soft red right. pulsing light as well. I hope you like that. I can also just swap it to this. Blinding. Oh, that freezes my webcam. I have this nice new shirt. My mom bought it for me. It's a very soft material and I like the neck. Uh, this is a... The, the thing is, is that... The tannish, whitish, like, bone color of this whole area, you know, eggshell, it's kind of a lame-looking thing, but it does have a very, very strong imagery that it evokes. Kind of almost like Jason and the Argonauts. Like, that's how this makes me feel. Like, there's this big, empty, almost like a void, and we just gotta, we just gotta explore it, you know? Also, the, you know, the giants everywhere help to evoke that. So, the old god is dead. It has come to this at last. The blood of a god has opened the way. Good, Gabriel. Very good. There is only one. I do want to hear this one just because I don't must be get what's going aside. on. I want to Man's read it. Sacrifice was not in vain. Now our warrior of light can proceed to his final destiny. The Lord of the Dead is the most powerful of the Lords of Shadow. Gabriel will need every ounce of his being to defeat him. I worry for him, though. All right, you can read that. <laughs> Sorry. I... I hope that that isn't too far from what people actually want from my content. Ah. There we go. Yeah, normally when I do LPs, I like to have like a dude. I like to have a um like almost pure moment. What? 
Gabriel. I'm hitting the back button. I'm hitting away from this. This is something that has come up before, FYI. This is obnoxious. This is something that has come up before when sometimes using the stick, we just don't get... We just can't. This is terrible. Sometimes when using the stick in this game, you've seen it a few times before, you can't jump the way that the game needs you to. Oh, God. Sometimes you can't jump the way the game needs you to. And it's a really obnoxious thing that should be fixed. Because this is the seventh generation of consoles. And video games had progressed past this point, I would like to have thought. Evidently, I would be wrong. So yeah, sometimes you need to be pushing the stick towards the way you need to go. Sometimes you need to leave the stick neutral. It's just kind of weird and random sometimes. And there are slight changes based on zombie. Uh, basic creations of a necromancer form the rank and file of the Lord of the Dead's army. Reanimated corpses are an amalgam of different body parts in a rough humanoid shape, so it's not uncommon to see them with more than one head or multiple arms. Carcasses are fragile and weak, so they attack in large groups, using their armors to overwhelm. But anyway, yeah, the camera shit is just... Oh, it's obnoxious. I didn't... There's only, like, one of these areas in Devil May Cry 4 that I had this problem with. Um, it's the one very early on where you're playing as Nero and you have to, like, do his obnoxious weird little jumps. But it just, you know, that as well. That game came out in 2008, though. And this was 2000 and... I think it was 2008. I think this was 2013. And just, how are we not advanced enough in making our video games that this is where we are? Where we're still doing, you know, bullshit PS1 camera angles. Like, we're still having the same problems from Devil May Cry 1, the game that reinvented the beat-em-up and invented the modern hack-and-slash character action-action-adventure game. Like, yeah, that game was iconic and it was really good, but we don't need to copy it. We need to emulate it and improve upon the experience. What the fuck just happened? I did the exact same inputs from last time. Where am I meant to go? I got this dude's light magic gem. Is there a hole down here I need to creep into? Oh, there is. Wait, what? Oh, that was a side area. All right, that's fine. Please. I implore you, do not do me like that. Oh, I'm stuck into not walking here. Or, uh, uh, not running, rather. I'm stuck into walking. I doubled myself. Pardonnez-moi. Stop me off. I hit the button, man. It gave me indication that I had hit it. Oh. 
All right. Doesn't have to be hard, Konami. Really? Really? You know, I'll admit, I don't know if I find these very fun. I, I would rather not do this. You know, we're getting to this big hype area. And they're like, oh, all your fun things? Oh, that cross that Jesus gave you? Yeah, you're getting it taken away from you by some random rank-and-file goblin enemy. Ugh. These, these aren't that fun, I'll say it. Conceptually, the idea of, a, of just doing a, a level without gear is kind of fine. Especially in a game like this. I talked about the concept of the no-gear level, oh god, months ago. Years ago, when I played Far Cry 3. At one point in Far Cry 3, there's a moment where they take away all of your stuff. Um... And you have to be like... What? I need it. Smoking. Smoking. What? Like smoking sexy style? Ah, I see. Am I really going to have to do this fight with this fucking thing yelling at me? Not fight, but this puzzle. You know, this thing that will be very annoying. What the hell? Alright, let's go look at the other things. This camera angle is not really helping me. Right, I can't sprint, so I have to do this at a pace I would describe as glacial. is obnoxious. Oh, a life gem. Oh, what? Okay, so we've done that. This is a strange puzzle, I'll say as much as that. Thank you for the camera angle. Oh, it's broken, great. This is crap. Like, there was, okay, there's this video game called Vanquish that kicks ass, right? Vanquish is good. And at some point in Vanquish, in the development of Vanquish, 
they were like, this game's going to be like four hours long. Are people willing to pay full price for a game that's four hours long? And they said, let's just put in a whole bunch of fucking puzzles. A bunch of little obnoxious puzzles like this, like in God of War, that will, you know, fluff it out and add all, all this stuff, you know? Oh, I see. And then later in development, they were like, this isn't fun. Let's just take all these puzzles out. Let's not bother. Alright, there we go. Whoops. I just wanted to get you the hell away from me. Fuck off. And that game was developed by Platinum. In front of you. Can you see uh, and Platinum later worked with Konami in order to develop another game kind of like this. Well done, it tells me. And I think about that sometimes. When a, a developer said, look, it's not going to be fun if we have to do a bunch of stupid puzzle bullshit. I'm trying to see if I need to point this anywhere. Oh, maybe we can push it down here. Also, fuck off. God. Um... I think about a developer saying, there's a bunch of unfun stuff in this game. Why don't we just take that out and make the whole game as fun as it could be? And the thing is, is that Vanquish is, is helped greatly for not having a bunch of... <laughs> Vanquish has helped out greatly for not having a bunch of bullshit in it and for just having fun gameplay. <laughs> And there should be way more games like that. Is what I'm saying. I need a dark crystal, huh? Can I take mine out of here? And I think about this. Because I've talked about it. There's a lot of stuff in this game that appears to just be here to pad things. The sole purpose of it is just... The player is going to rip through this game too quickly. Make it so that can't happen. Are you insane? And I, on the one hand, I can get it. To say, you know, the player has to spend a certain amount of time playing the game, you know? But on the other hand, looking at the example set by Vanquish, like, that game has no bullshit in it. It's just... Here's all the combat. Here's all the fun stuff. Don't worry about it. Now, granted, there are some games like... Uh, I would say some people would say that God of War is like this. Because, like, look, people say that Kratos is some dumb barbarian, but, like, Kratos is Greek. He's, a, he's smart, you know? Kratos appears to like doing puzzles. And so, like, it fits with the character. It fits with the... Oh, come on. Th is, is this inverted? What way am I supposed to be pushing this?
Go away. This is stupid. Like, for the game to just... What is happening? It's a scroll. Is it so hard to load? The heat's incredible. Can't make it. If it hadn't been for the incredible creation, I wouldn't have gotten this far. God protect him, the one who's chosen. God protect us all. Does it just have to be like that? Like, these things are here to just slow me down. There's no purpose for them. I just have to deal. And then this is another puzzle where I have to hear a little annoying things screams at me. But yeah, famously, Platinum also developed Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, the last Platinum thing anyone cared about. Um, oh, I see. Fuck off. And it also does not have all the obnoxious puzzle shit in it. <laughs> and just like... I know Symphony of the Night and other Metroidvanias had some puzzle elements, but like... You're such an asshole. That was obnoxious, I'll say. Like, that was just legitimately unfun. Like, if there was no combat in it and I didn't have to deal with hitting things and also hitting things determining the position of the puzzle... Perhaps if there was no... Oh my god. I can't bang the fucking gong because all these enemies are making me auto-target them. Impressive amount of zombies, at least. There's that going for it. Nothing but death here. The fires of hell burn bright. There's no escape. Lord of the Dead sees all, and I'm fighting creatures that resemble corpses. I hear the tortured screams of my brothers, and my skills seem useless against the weakest of the creatures. Uh, all but the weakest of the creatures. Uh, just becoming focused requires extreme skill. Heaven help me, I fear I'm not up to the task. Well, you weren't, buddy. It's like that classic God of War stuff when you're just like slicing through thousands and thousands of guys. What the hell is this? What's the point? I notice I've got a lot more light magic, and I wonder if that's an intentional thing done by the game designers in order to ensure that the player will have more health. Because, like, light magic lets you... Playing well, light magic will let you always just gain more juice. Oh, 
Oh. That was weird. I totally thought I, that I had done that. All right. We can finally buy this thing. Holy Cross. I'll get Holy Cross. That sounds cool. Okay. Whoa, what? What's that? Ultimate light. Hold the LB button. You will spin constantly attacking any enemies. Use the left stick to aim the spin to deal the max damage. Be aware of your light magic supply. Cool. I guess there must be an ultimate shadow as well. Fueled by the very flames of hell itself. The crematory the oven. oven. Is where the grave digger does his ghastly work. I think the best part of this game was when you were in an actual castle. Sorry, I just, I'm thinking about that now. Stroke. Like, the grave digger this game was the really fun and really good when it was in that castle. The chance, yet I'm, I I'm kind of blown away by that, but on the other hand, I'm playing Castlevania. Why wouldn't I be? This could be interesting indeed. I sense like, Gabriel's rage <laughs> welling up within him, and I wonder Yeah, the fun part was in a castle. Terrible. When you have a tight, Our focused people. experience that you can take the oh, player to and say, this is where we're at. Oh, the... <sighs> Who's more terrible, the hero or demon? Shut up. I don't care. Ugh. Yeah, imagine if we finished that last area and then we jumped to here and we didn't do that puzzle at all. I feel like that would have been way more fun. Because I'm mad coming off of that puzzle. Necromancers had to build a constant supply of corpses to supply their army of the undead. To sustain the immense cemeteries, they relied on the Gravedigger, an enslaved nameless demon mutated and empowered with the tainted magic of evil sorcerers. Use a dying shovel to exhume the dead, and this also makes a formidable weapon in combat. What is it? This? Yeah, it is. That's cool. I don't know if that does anything. That doesn't appear to be too good of a s actual spell, but that's okay. But yeah, like... Castlevania is kind of at its best when you're in a fucking castle. Vania ing. For those who don't know, in Japan, Castlevania is not called that. It's called Devil's Castle Dracula. I know I'm kind of like laming it out on these guys, but like, I hate fighting these dudes. They have too much hyper armor and they hit too like wide of attacks. Ugh, get out of the coffin. Sorry, I didn't think I would need to stop him because the other one didn't do it. Yeah, I'm thinking about when I was really enjoying this and like I'm thinking about the early moments, and, like, there's some good stuff in the early moments, I guess. But when I was really, really having fun with this game was in the middle. After killing the werewolf, when you have a few abilities to, uh, to use. Because after that happens, like... You know, the combat can get way more dense because you have way more stuff going on. Oh, so it, it gets guys away from you. It looks like it actually hits bigger than the... Uh, it looks like the hit is actually bigger than is implied.
Whoops. Sorry, I really had to itch my nose, and I was like, right, I just do an animation here, doy. Imagine, if you will, you go to kill somebody, and you beat the shit out of them, and then you go to stab them in the heart. But they push you off before you can stab them in the heart for real. And then suddenly you didn't beat the shit out of them. I commented on this a few times with the really hard QTEs. That one was totally my fault, I admit freely. But with the really hard QTEs, like, a boss shouldn't really gain health back from that. That's silly. It doesn't make any sense in-universe or out. Like, are they, are they emboldened by the fact that you didn't kill them? If so, why aren't they invincible? But yeah, there's a lot of choices made in this game that would not be replicated in other games. And you can see that Konami, when passing the development... Because they didn't make this game. They let Mercury Steam develop this game, I think. Um, when Konami, you know, passed a different property of theirs, Metal Gear, to um, Platinum, they did not replicate any of the decisions made here. Like, it's not a reboot. It's kind of a reboot, but it's not really a reboot. Um, yeah, it's kind of a reboot, but it's not really a reboot. Um, it interprets a lot of older things from the older games into a new context, much like this does. Um, but overall, Rising gave much, much tighter, more enjoyable experience. Like, I don't know if I'm ever going to play this game again, but I have gone back to play Metal Gear Rising Revengeance... Ten times. I love Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Like, I played through it five times when I got it back in 2013. And then I borrowed it. I, I didn't have that copy. And I borrowed that from a... I borrowed a, a copy from a friend. In, like, 2018. And I played that. Um... And then, recently I got it on PC, and my PC can actually run it. So I've been... I, I played it again this year. Because Metal Gear Rising Revengeance kicks ass. Like, people talk about it being the funny meme game, or having, like... Some of them are like, oh, it's funny because the guy says make America great again before uh, uh, he said it in 2013. Or like, there's goofy political opinions in this game that, you know, would be funny if somebody were to, like, believe if true. Or the guy says 9-11 and that's funny. But also, like, it is a shockingly tight experience with resoundingly solid gameplay decisions everywhere. You know, in another game, I would just get Devil Trigger for hitting a guy. I, I don't need to do this bullshit of, I got Devil Trigger. Okay, now I need to pick up my Devil Trigger. Like, only now am I noticing that those orbs go away. At least on this difficulty. Oh, yeah. Take that, Shovel Knight. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I commented earlier on how I, like, maybe would have liked the decision. Because it's almost like a reload mechanic. Because in a fantasy, you don't have a reload. Like, in an, in an action video game that features guns in the modern day... You have a moment to reload, and that's fun and cool. Is this going to be the same? Did I not get him? This is a long cutscene to make me do over again, you guys. 
I feel bad because like initially I was so positive about it, but my huh. So is that supposed to be happening? Ah, I see. I like that he has, like, Cthulhu tentacles in his face. That's cool, I guess. Alright. Alright, I'm getting a little done with it, guy. Okay, now it's actually open and I can kill him for real. It's now the third time I've gone through this dude's health bar. Alright. Man, I've got some, like, prosciutto, prosciutto in the fridge. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, I just really assumed that I was supposed to do that later. There we go. Oh, the cutscene fidelity improves for uh, that shot. Why did I fight you in front of this big door? Gabriel Belmont, Shovel Knight. Made that joke already, sorry. Hmm? Oh, that's clever. Hey, back off. He's heavily armed with a stick. I'm funny. I should have brown hair again. I haven't had brown hair in a while. All right. Actually, that should do it for this episode. Um, thank you for coming. This has been Castlevania Lords of Shadow. A particularly salty installment, but hopefully it's getting better. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for coming. I hope you had a good time. I did. Uh, bye, everyone.